Good afternoon, everyone. Um, my, whoops, my name is Jennifer Cook. I'm director of the Africa program here at the Center for Strategic and International Studies. Uh, we're delighted to welcome you to today's event, uh, the road to presidential elections in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Um, this is a big year for elections in Africa with more than 15 presidential elections uh, in 2011. I think while the, the electoral standoff in Cote d'Ivoire, the Sudanese referendum, turmoil in Egypt have, have taken a lot of uh, attention already and are, are, are kind of um, a dominating Africa-centered interest, I think uh, it'll be very important in the coming months to focus on the uh, elections in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Uh, as you know, this is a country of, of vast potential and, and promise, but also one that's been racked by conflict and crisis for, for decades. Uh, recently, um, uh, I think in a positive development, a lot more attention has been spent on the crisis in the East, but I think less on the fundamental issues that underpin that crisis. Uh, the, the issues of governance, which really very much are determined to a large extent uh, within Kinshasa. Um, so these elections coming up are ones that I think the United deserve our scrutiny, our attention, and our support. Um, uh, we hope in the course of the coming months here at CSIS to uh, host a series of events focused on the elections, the critical questions, and, and how best the United States and international community um, can support free, transparent, and credible elections. I think, uh, as you know, there, there are troubling signs, perhaps already, the constitutional amendment uh, that, uh, that eliminates a, a, a runoff election between uh, presidential contestants um, is uh, kind of uh, something of an ominous sign, I think. Uh, it will be incumbent on the opposition, uh, given those circumstances, uh, to have a strategy in place. And for that reason, we're very happy to host today uh, Vital Camere, uh, who is uh, the president and co-founder of the Union pour la Nation Congolaise, the UNC party. Uh, he, um, as you know, he's a former member of parliament, uh, he, representing the Bukavu district uh, of Kivu. Um, and as many of you know, he was one time a, a close ally of President Kabila. Uh, he served as Secretary General of the Ruling People's Party for Reconstruction and Development, the uh, PPRD. Uh, it was a leader of President Kabila's uh, election campaign and held a number of government positions. Uh, most recently, he was President of the National Assembly, uh, a post from which he resigned in March 2009 after a very public falling out with President Kabila over Rwanda's uh, involvement in Eastern DRC and perhaps more specifically, the role of the legislature and the powers vested in the, in the legislature to, um, to be informed and to oversee. Uh, so Mr. Kamari has been a key figure, both in successive peace processes uh, on the East and in the inter-Congolese uh, political dialogue. Uh, he is today considered among the leading opposition candidates uh, for president in the run-up to the November 2011 um, elections. Uh, so we're delighted to have you here with us. Uh, he's joined today by uh, Tadi Wantwadi, who's the personal representative of Mr. Kamari in the U.S. Uh, he'll be translating for Mr. Kamari. Uh, and also on the panel, we have Mvemba Dizolele, who is a distinguished visiting fellow with the Hoover, Hoover Institution of uh, Stanford uh, University. Mvemba is a writer, foreign policy analyst, and independent journalist. He's written extensively on Congo. Uh, he's currently a visiting scholar at the Johns Hopkins School of Advanced International Studies, and he's the author of a forthcoming, uh, we're looking forward to seeing this too, the forthcoming biography, it's been forthcoming for a while, uh, Mobutu, The Rise of Fall of the Leopard Kings. Um, I just want to say a note, I, I know many people have traveled to this event uh, from far away. Uh, there's a great deal of passion surrounding the issues in uh, Congo. They say this about Kenyans and Nigerians, but Congolese, you have three Congolese in a room and you've got four different opinions right there. People are very impassioned, I think people are very frustrated what's, 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 what's happened in the Congo over time. So I know there'll be a lot of discussion, we've gotten a lot of emails in the run up to this event. I, I do hope you know, again, this is one of a series that we'll be having on, on the Democratic Republic of Congo's the election course. 
Uh, we, 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 we do want this to remain kind of a civil, it's not a political rally, this is analysis and discussion, um, and we hope uh, we, we all maintain a, the, the tone and the, keep that spirit in mind. Um, we're going to turn to Mr. Kameri first for remarks and then to Mbemba, and we're going to reserve as much time for, as possible for um, a question uh, period. So with that, Mr. Kameri, welcome. Um, we're delighted to host you here, um, and we look forward to your remarks. Je tiens tout d'abord à remercier le Centre d'études internationales stratégiques internationales de Washington pour l'invitation qui m'a été lancée. I'd like, first of all, to thank uh, the Center for Strategic and International Studies for the invitations that uh, I have received. Si l'invitation que j'ai reçue, on m'a demandé de parler de la situation politique en République démocratique du Congo et de ma propre candidature. On my invitation, they asked me to speak about the political situation in the DRC, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, and about also my, can my candidacy as the, uh, on the presidential elections of uh, 2011. Cela m'amène tout naturellement à parler des pouvoirs, des pouvoirs actuels face au processus électoral dans notre pays, puisque c'est ça l'actualité. Therefore, that takes me to speak about uh, the political power right now, and uh, of course, they're facing up uh, the opposition. Et, non, c'est-à-dire la position du pouvoir actuel par rapport au processus électoral, toutes les gesticulations, tous les faits qui sont posés, on va les passer au crible et essayer de les interpréter. The, the actual power versus facing up the electoral process right now, which will be a diagnosed. Nous allons aussi parler de l'attitude de l'opposition politique congolaise face à ce même processus électoral. We also be speaking about the attitude of the Congolese uh, opposition vis-à-vis uh, -vis of this uh, electoral process. La société civile aussi a donné de la voix. Uh, the uh, civil society also has got some voices. Nous allons parler aussi de l'attitude de la communauté internationale. We also be speaking about the international uh, community uh, uh, attitude. Comme il est très difficile de parler de soi-même, naturellement, nous terminerons par nous-mêmes et nous serons très brefs et nous laisserons aux autres les soins de peindre notre uh, portrait. Since it's hard to speak for oneself, we will uh, uh, finalize our uh, uh, speech with that and then we'll leave it to others to go ahead and uh, just to paint whatever they could see out of me. Concernant la position du pouvoir actuel face au processus électoral dans notre pays, je voudrais retenir euh, quelques points saillants. Le premier point, c'est la révision de la constitution dans notre pays. Le deuxième point, c'est la modification projetée de la loi électorale. Le troisième point, c'est le musulman de l'opposition et de la société civile. Et le quatrième point, c'est la politisation de l'armée, de la police et des services de sécurité. Enfin, la manipulation de l'institution chargée des élections dans notre pays. Uh, about uh, the power, actually, uh, the government attitude uh, towards this process. First of all, I will be speaking about uh, the review uh, or the amendment that they want to bring about the Constitution, uh, the modification on the electoral law, and of course the attack on the, the opposition and the, the fourth one, the quatrième question pourquoi? La, le, 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 non, disons, la, Après le musulman de l'opposition. La politisation de l'armée. Politisation of the army. Et la manipulation de la commission électorale. And the, the manipulation of the electoral committee. La modification de la constitution qui est intervenue a surpris beaucoup de gens. D'abord, le moment où cette modification est intervenue. Et secondo, la manière dont elle est intervenue. The review of the Constitution surprised a lot of people. First of all, about the timing of it, and then the second thing is how it happened. Beaucoup de gens se posent la question de savoir pourquoi ça se passe au mois de janvier, à la fin du mandat, et pendant le processus même électoral, au moment où les opérations électorales ont commencé. Many are questioning why this is happening in uh, January at this time, and at the moment that uh, the electoral process has also to begin. On dit qu'on ne change pas les règles du jeu en pleine compétition, mais là, les règles du jeu ont changé en pleine compétition. They say you don't change the rules of the game during the competition. 
However, here, we've noticed that uh, the rules are being changed during the competition. L'explication est simple. Au début, le pouvoir dans ses officines avait l'impression d'avoir une voie royale complètement ouverte devant lui. C'est-à-dire, il n'y avait pas d'opposants. À partir du moment où le pouvoir avait réussi, à, avec la complicité de beaucoup de gens, de mettre Jean-Pierre Bemba hors course, c'est-à-dire le mettre à la CPI, pour l'opposition, pour le pouvoir, la voie de la victoire était assurée. Uh, certainly, it's uh, quite simple uh, because uh, it, uh, uh, at one time, the power, those in power, felt that. Uh, uh, Jean-Pierre Bemba, à la CPI, qui était le challenger de Kabila, il avait 42%. Uh, Jean-Pierre Bemba, who was the challenger of Kabila, had 42%. Right now, he's at the uh, CPI. Et pour le pouvoir, donc, la victoire était assurée. For the power, the victory was assured. Mais le retour, parce qu'il était déjà donné pour mort. Il y en a qui étaient contents. Etienne Tshisekedi, il est malade et c'est fini. On ne va plus parler de lui. Many believe that uh, it was all over. He was dead because he's in jail and Tshisekedi is too old and that's it. It's all over. Mais le retour du vieux opposant congolais, Etienne Tshisekedi, l'accueil qu'il a reçu de l'aéroport d'Ndjili jusque chez lui à la maison, je crois que c'était le premier signal fort qui a réveillé le pouvoir en place. However, the return of Tshisekedi back to Kinshasa and the welcome that he received shook up the power in Kinshasa and uh, brought up the attention of those that are ruling, the ruling class today. Quand nous-mêmes nous avons tenu notre conférence le 14 décembre où nous avons annoncé notre décision de quitter le PPRD, le parti présidentiel, en même temps à remettre les sièges que nous occupions au nom de ces partis à l'Assemblée nationale et annoncer en même temps nos ambitions de nous présenter à la présidentielle de 2011, suivi de notre sortie à Goma et à Bukavu, où nous avons été accueillis par notre population. Je crois que c'est le deuxième élément qui a finalement convaincu le pouvoir qu'il fallait compter avec une certaine opposition en face dans les élections qui se préparaient. As far as we're concerned, concerning ourselves, the UNC, as, uh, in, uh, based on our uh, meeting of uh, December uh, 14, uh, about uh, our own resignation from the parliament and uh, about uh, uh, the, the trip that we took within the country, and uh, that just about start bringing up to them that something may be happening because of what a movement has been becoming. Alors, le président de la République a décidé qu'on puisse revoir la Constitution parce qu'il est convaincu qu'en bougeant du côté de la Constitution, en changeant les mots de scrutin, passer des mots de scrutin à deux tours, à un tour majoritaire, il peut, face à une opposition désorganisée, s'assurer de gagner. Et donc, il a instruit l'Assemblée nationale de modifier la Constitution. Cette question n'était pas inscrite à l'ordre du jour du Sénat, alors que la loi le demande ainsi. Mais on a fait un passage en force et la Constitution a été modifiée. Donc aujourd'hui, malgré toutes les contestations, le président a promulgué la Constitution révisée. I have to summarize that. Uh, <laughs> uh, as soon as the, the president realized what's happening, first of all, we have to talk about Mr. Chisekedi coming back and what we just said. And secondly, about the position of UNC. Uh, he realized that it's time to review and, and modify the constitutions because that's what really could probably give him uh, an opportunity. Therefore, it was important for them to do away with uh, the second round for the elections. C'est-à-dire, nous avons un tour et le président est le seul candidat autoproclamé du pouvoir, parce que là-bas, semble-t-il, c'est la discipline, on peut appeler ça autrement. Et de l'autre côté, c'est-à-dire dans notre camp de l'opposition, il compte sur le fait qu'il y aura multiplicité de candidatures. Donc, en comptant sur l'émiettement des voix et couplé de la corruption et de la manipulation des urnes, il est sûr de gagner. When he looked at him, he saw that the first round, he could take an advantage on that because he's alone to go there. And uh, knowing that uh, the, the opposition is seriously divided in pieces and pieces, therefore going that way will give him an opportunity to get more voices. La réaction de l'opposition ne s'est pas fait attendre. Pour la première fois, c'est pourquoi on dit à quelque chose malheureux bon. 
puisque cette attitude du pouvoir a permis à l'opposition d'avoir un instinct de survie. Pour la première fois, nous avons eu un communiqué conjoint parlant d'une seule voix et disant non à la révision constitutionnelle. Well, the opposition didn't wait too long and they realized it. Uh, sometimes we say well, when, when you have something wrong, it could always bring some goodness out of it. Therefore, because of all these uh, uh, moving around the positions of the power, for the first time, the opposition came together, uh, came up to find out an agreement to see how they could move forward effectively to go against uh, the deposition that is being taken by the ruling class. In campagne médiatique a commencé à la télévision pour prévenir l'opposition, pour dire attention, Caméré n'est pas opposant. Nous l'envoyons chez vous comme espion pour vous désorganiser. Well, in the media, they started a campaign saying that be careful, Caméré is not in opposition. We are sending him to come in and effectively, uh, on behalf of us, the power to uh, disturb uh, the opposition. Ça n'a pas découragé l'opposition puisque nous sommes passés à la deuxième étape et ensemble nous sommes allés hausser les tons au niveau de la mission des Nations Unies pour dire la tiédeur de la communauté internationale qui avait pourtant soutenu et garanti l'accord global inclusif qui avait mis fin entre guillemets à la guerre et nous nous attendions à ce qu'ils puissent hausser les tons. Et donc nous sommes partis encore l'IDPS, le MLC, nous tous ensemble pour dire non et que nous n'étions pas contents de la réaction de la communauté internationale timide ou absente. Well, this didn't uh, at all discourage uh, the opposition. We stood up and all together went to the United Nations uh, uh, presence in the Congo and uh, took a position on that uh, because we understood that this is uh, to discourage the opposition. Therefore, shaking up the international community to come up to their responsibilities because we felt that there were some uh, weaknesses or uh, some uh, type of uh, uh, not heat on, the, on, on behalf of the international community. Remarquant cela, le pouvoir a dit la victoire n'est pas encore assurée. Donc il faut passer à autre chose. Il faut modifier la loi électorale. Uh, when they noticed that, they said, well, we're not sure about the victory, so we have to do something else. So that means we have to go ahead and modify the electoral uh, laws. Heureusement que le Parlement est en congé. Fortunately, the Parliament was in recess. Mais sinon, on aurait déjà liquidé ça à, à une heure. Otherwise, they would have just changed the constitution within an hour. Qu'est-ce que l'on vise C'est une loi taillée sur mesure. C'est-à-dire, on prend M. Vemba, on amène un tailleur, on lui fait un costume qui lui va à lui, M. Vemba. What is the objective? What is it on a target? It's just like taking a decision as when you take a suit, you measure it. We take the case of Mr. Mvemba, and that suit only fits Mr. Mvemba. Donc on voudrait absolument, par tous les moyens, éliminer M. Tien Tshisekedi. Parce qu'on veut fixer la limitation de l'âge à 70 ans. Ce qui est tout à fait de l'immoralité. What are they trying to uh, uh, obtain as objective? First of all, is to just get rid of Mr. Chisakedi because they're trying to modify the law, bringing the age of uh, presidential candidates to 70, down to 70, because Mr. Chisakedi is over 70, and that is an immoral act. Nous disons que c'est de l'immoralité parce que je suis mieux placé que quiconque pour dire combien nous, à l'époque où j'étais à côté du président Kabila, nous avions souffert à l'époque pour amener l'âge de 40 ans à 30 ans pour permettre au président Kabila qui n'avait pas l'âge requis. D'être élu. Maintenant que cette loi lui a servi à lui d'être candidat, c'est comme un arbre sur lequel on est assis, on le coupe, ou bien l'escalier qui vous a permis de monter, vous laissez tomber l'escalier. Mais pensez au retour, puisque vous devez redescendre un jour. Well, it is effectively for me to believe that is immorality. Can you imagine when we were in power, we brought down the age from 40 to 30, 30, uh, 30 ans. to 30. Il faut dire que j'étais à côté de Kabila and, et j'assume ça. And I assume I was next to him, we did it, we On brought the age from 40 down to 30 to make sure that nous Mr. Avons souffert. We suffered, we, uh, that Mr. Kabila could pass on through so his candidacy could be accepted when we lowered the age. 
So what does it mean? Right now things are changing. That's just like, uh, I mean, knocking down the brains on which you are sitting on a tree. Et là, c'est Jean-Pierre Bemba qui avait dit, bon, écoutez, nous n'allons pas discuter pendant longtemps. Nous sommes sûrs que les Congolais vont faire le bon choix. Ok, si c'est pour la réconciliation nationale, si c'est pour la paix, on peut abaisser à 30 ans. And it was Jean-Pierre Bemba who said, listen, uh, that's okay, we could go ahead and deal with it. They are the Congolese people, we understand. If it is for the peace, nevertheless, let's go ahead and bring the age to the age of 30. Simple as that. La deuxième chose que le pouvoir vise, c'est de fixer dans cette loi un critère qui va éliminer M. Kamere, tout de suite et maintenant. The second uh, target for those in power is to fix up some criteria that will necessarily get rid of uh, Mr. Kamere. Il est dit dans ce projet de loi que les partis, tout parti politique qui n'a pas une existence d'au moins de 5 ans ne peut pas présenter un candidat. On that law, it will say that any political party that has not been around for over five years cannot go ahead to the election, to the presidential election. De quoi a-t-on peur? What are they afraid of? Alors, nous disons que nous n'avons pas beaucoup de temps, mais nous voulons aussi relever que l'attitude du pouvoir, c'est aussi la manipulation de l'institution chargée des opérations préélectorales et électorales. What could we say? We really don't have much time. However, we can understand that the, the purpose of the power is to manipulate uh, the laws, the pre-electoral laws, that within this time that are uh, set for the elections. Il ne faut pas que le peuple congolais, il ne faut pas non plus que la communauté internationale attende que nous en arrivions à la situation de l'Égypte, ou alors que nous connaissions un raccourci du genre Niger, pour commencer à réagir par des voies de communiquer ou de envoyer des ambassadeurs. Alors qu'il y a moyen de prévenir. Moi, je suis pour la prévention, je suis pour les vaccins. Vaccinons le pouvoir en place de cette maladie qui le hante et qui le pousse à tout bousculer, à tout détruire que nous avons réussi à construire après, après discussion et négociation à, à San City. Well, we don't have to wait. Uh, and then get into the situation such as what is going on in, in, in Egypt and what happened in uh, Niger. Uh, it is, as far as I'm concerned, I believe in preventing. And therefore, vaccinating something is much more better to prevent than wait for it to happen. Et nous disons, au niveau de la manipulation, qu'est-ce qui se passe? Tout le monde est en train de suivre l'enrôlement. On a diminué les bureaux de vote dans certains endroits sans explication valable. Tout simplement parce qu'on estime que de ce côté-là, la population est plus ou moins hostile au président de la République. Et là où on pense qu'il peut y avoir beaucoup de, de voix, on multiplie les bureaux de vote. Décourager notre population, faire 40 km pour aller s'enrôler, on comprend très bien l'objectif poursuivi. What is it? You know, the purpose is that uh, reducing offices, enrollment, uh, enrolling offices for elections, where they know that there is a lot of opposition and increasing the numbers of uh, voting offices where they know uh, that uh, the power has more population. That pushing our people to travel distances such as 40 kilometers to just go and vote. Et je vais revenir sur cette question puisqu'il y a beaucoup à dire sur la CNI, sur la CI, comme le temps est limité. Je passe donc au misèlement de l'opposition et de la société civile ainsi que de la presse. Uh, I know we don't have much time. However, I'm going to come back to the CENI, that's the Independent uh, National uh, Electoral Committee, and uh, uh, sorry, uh, uh, um, Independent, and the Independent Electoral Committee, uh, because we don't have much more time, and then I will speak about it and how the opposition is being uh, uh, muzzled. Actuellement, l'opposition politique ne jouit plus des mêmes droits que les partis du pouvoir en place et pour cause. Nous avons essayé de faire notre premier communiqué à l'endroit communément appelé GB, la concession GB de Bemba Père. Au moment où nous devrions nous présenter pour faire le communiqué, c'est un bataillon de la police qui nous accueillait, qui avait occupé les lieux. Et la deuxième fois, on avait payé tous les frais et on avait informé le gouverneur de la ville avec acquisé de réception. Nous étions obligés de faire dans les couloirs des grands hôtels de Kinshasa où on avait couper l'électricité et fermer la salle que nous devrions occuper. Uh, 
What I'm saying, we have not the same rights with uh, the presidential political uh, party. Uh, what happened to us here, we were supposed to go to the GB, that's uh, a space which used to belong to Bemba's father. And when we wanted to go there, they sent the police force to block us to get in. So we decided to go to the In-N-Out uh, Intercontinental Hotel in Kinshasa. So they were able to influence the manager to go ahead and cut down the electricity. <laughs> so closed up the room, and we had to do a meeting on a hall. Mais nous avons fait les communiqués. However, we did uh, uh, provide our uh, announcement. Et il y a des actes d'intimidation et puis des actes évidemment de vandalisme puisque quand nous sommes descendus à Goma, ce sont les coups de feu qui nous ont accueillis à Goma, mais notre population à laquelle nous rendons hommage aujourd'hui est en train de vaincre la peur. Et vous pouvez les voir à travers quelques vidéos que j'ai amenées, que je vais distribuer, mais je n'ai pas beaucoup de moyens, donc on distribuera. On va commencer peut-être par les dames pour terminer par les hommes. On verra. On verra. There are certainly some acts of intimidation and vandalism. You will see that. As recently, we went to Goma, and uh, what happened was the intimidation, shooting by the police forces, and therefore you will be seeing some videos that we brought. We will distribute them here. Uh, we will start with the ladies and whatever remains we can give to the men. Il y a la politisation de l'armée, de la police et des services de sécurité. L'armée, au lieu de défendre les territoires nationaux contre les envahisseurs extérieurs, au lieu de sécuriser l'est du Congo et le reste du Congo, la police, au lieu de maintenir l'ordre public et sécuriser les personnes et leurs biens, mais l'armée et la police et les services de sécurité sont là pour organiser une véritable chasse à l'homme contre les opposants. There is a great politisation of the army and the police. Army and police, instead of securizing uh, the people, taking care of the population, protecting uh, the, the borders of the, uh, of the country, right now the police and uh, the army have as objective to intimidate and uh, mistreat uh, the population. Il y a aussi la justice. Vous avez suivi dernièrement comment Edjane Diomindongala avait été interpellé et à moins d'une heure de temps, il a été condamné à trois ans de prison. L'honorable Moukonkole, en route pour aller déposer son enfant à l'école, on l'arrête, on le juge à partir de 23h et à minuit 5, il était condamné pour 10 mois de prison. Député national élu avec humilité. There is also the justice aspect, of the, the, the laws. What happened recently with uh, Diomindongala, one of the uh, candidates who was uh, arrested and judged within an hour and uh, uh, he has got three years sentence of jail. And uh, also happened with uh, Mukonkole, who had really not done anything at all, as he's, I understand. He's an MP. Uh, he's an MP, a member of yes. par parliament, who uh, has been uh, arrested uh, for... He was condemned at minuit cinq, uh, uh, mois de prison. He was uh, at uh, midnight, five minutes, he was uh, a judge, and uh, he is taking uh, uh, ten months of... Uh, Bon, c'est bien de parler des autres. Parlons maintenant de l'opposition. Que fait l'opposition face à cette situation What is opposition doing Je on sais qu'il y aura beaucoup de questions, There'll donc be je vais être très bref, I'll be very brief pour réserver ma verve oratoire uh, to just, uh, aux questions très musclées que je vois uh, déjà à travers uh, les visages. Just let behind uh, so I could talk uh, uh, and respond to your questions. I can see your faces. C'est ça qui fait le plaisir de la démocratie. Uh, that's what makes uh, democracy a great thing. Primo, l'opposition a réagi vigoureusement à cette all d'Alp constitutionnel. Uh, Nous avons rejeté la révision constitutionnelle. The opposition reacted uh, quickly, vigorously, and on that hold up, and we rejected the, that uh, uh, revision of the constitution. Nous avons déjà commencé le lobbying auprès de la communauté internationale et de notre peuple pour réveiller ce peuple à travers des pétitions, d'abord pour montrer sa désapprobation, mais aussi pour prévenir un autre mal, c'est-à-dire la loi Électorale. Puisque cette loi électorale, j'ai oublié de le dire, on ne veut pas seulement bouger au niveau de la présidentielle, mais aussi au niveau des législatives pour abandonner le mode proportionnel qui assurait une large représentation de nos ethnies et groupes sociologiques et partis politiques pour revenir à un mode où seuls les partis forts et les grandes ethnies vont être représentés. Ce qui est un drame et un recul. 
I don't think you don't mind if I ask him to start going back to some phases. So we probably got to go back a little bit. <laughs> Je voudrais dire ceci okay. que nous avons au niveau de l'opposition rejeté la révision constitutionnelle. The opposition rejected the constitutional revision. Et nous avons commencé un lobbying pour qu'on ne bouge pas les règles prévues dans la loi électorale, we surtout started, en ce qui concerne la proportionnelle. We started lobbying about the, revi uh, the, rev uh, the revision of the law, especially on the proportion uh, on, on the election aspect. Parce que la boulimie du pouvoir en place voudrait non seulement gagner la présidentielle, mais avoir une large victoire au niveau des législatives, exactement comme en Égypte. Uh, because what's happening is just like in Egypt, the power wants to, not only the presidential power, but they also want to occupy all the positions at the level of the National Assembly. Et donc, euh, nous allons, au niveau de l'opposition, aussi commencer la consolidation de notre unité. Opposition is going to start consolidating our unity. Vous me demanderez certainement pourquoi, et j'y répondrai. You can ask me why, and I'm not, uh, I will answer. Et comment. And how. Pourquoi Parce que nous devons nous mettre en ordre de bataille. Why? Because we have to get ready for the battle. Si nous y allons en ordre dispersé, nous risquons de nous rentrer dedans nous-mêmes et nous anéantir. If we go on a, on, on a disorder, well, it's going to end up turning against us and then therefore losing everything. Quel est mon entendement pour cette réunification? Uh, what, uh, what I believe about this uh, uh, union? Je vais y revenir parce que il me reste plus que trois minutes. I'll come back on because I only have three minutes. En ce qui concerne la communauté internationale, In the national community, la réaction timide ou absente de la communauté internationale nous a étonnés. The absence of the international community really surprised us. Parce que elle avait garanti et même contresigné l'accord global inclusif de Sun City. Because it guaranteed uh, the the accord that we signed in uh, Sun City. Mais nous saluons la réaction tardive de l'Union européenne. However, we grateful to the late uh, acceptances of the European Union. Qu'est-ce que nous attendons de la communauté internationale au moment où la Monisco va changer son mandat? What are we expecting from the international community when the, the UN forces will change its mandate? Nous en parlerons puisque vous allez soulever la question. We'll talk about it because you're going to question about it. En ce qui concerne ma candidature, concerning my uh, candidature, ce n'est pas un jeu d'essai erreur, non. It's not uh, just a trial. Ce n'est pas un acte de vengeance non plus. It's not vengeance. Ni de colère. No, or, uh, anger. Nous avons une vision pour le Congo. We have a vision for the Congo. On a un rêve pour le Congo. We have a dream for the Congo. Pour l'Afrique et pour for le monde. Africa and the world. Et nous avons un programme. We have a program. Et nous avons un système d'instauration de leadership responsable. We can instaur a leadership uh, responsible leadership. Nous avons un plan de sortie de crise non seulement à l'est du Congo mais dans l'ensemble de la région des Grands Lacs. We have a plan to get out the crisis not only on, uh, on the eastern side of the Congo, but with the Great Lakes. Dans ce plan, le volet militaire vient en appui d'autres volets. The army uh, uh, aspect of it will come on top of other aspects of things. Vient en appui. Et donc, nous we'll, privilégions d'abord le volet diplomatique. We first of all uh, uh, begin with the diplomatic aspect. Le volet politique. Political. Le volet économique, puisqu'il faut la traçabilité de tous ces minéraux à l'est du Congo. Because we have to chase up and find out all these minerals. Le volet humanitaire, parce qu'il faut que les populations déplacées reviennent dans leur milieu d'origine. Because the population that has been removed out have to come back. Le volet de la justice, parce que nous nous voulons qu'on puisse instaurer une cour spéciale uniquement pour sanctionner tous ceux qui sont coupables de viols et de violences. Fait à la femme. C'est important qu'on puisse instaurer une cour spéciale. We have to install a special court, which that is a very, very important thing, which will chase up and find out all those are raping women and the violence on the women in the country. Dans notre pays, nous avons l'habitude de jeter la pierre sur les magistrats et les juges en disant qu'ils sont corrompus. In our country, we always try to set up things by saying that the judges are corrupted. Moi, je vais me faire l'avocat des magistrats et des juges. Well, I'm going to defend those people. C'est tout le système qui est corrompu. The whole system is corrupted. Quels sont les moyens qu'on donne au pouvoir judiciaire pour fonctionner? How much is given to the judicial power to, to operate? C'est devenu un appendice du pouvoir exécutif. It's just like an appendix of the executive power. Nous devons réformer. We have to reform it. Et nous disons, notre plan comprend aussi le volet dit Développement. Our plan also has got a sector for the development. On a démobilisé les jeunes gens qui étaient dans les groupes armés à l'est. 
Mais ils ont caché les Kalachnikov. Mais s'ils ne sont pas utilisés dans les grands travaux, ils vont retourner dans les groupes armés. Ce plan comprend aussi l'aspect de la coopération régionale. Et en fait, ce plan comprend l'option militaire. Nous allons parler de tout cela, madame. J'espère que les questions, quand elles seront posées, je vais y répondre. J'avais apprêté les textes en français et en anglais, mais en arrivant ici, j'ai vu que j'ai des petites erreurs là-dedans. Je vais les corriger. Demain, je mettrai à la disposition du centre pour donner à tous ceux qui s'intéressent au Congo, en commençant par nos compatriotes, que je ne peux pas oublier de saluer la présence dans cette salle. Ils sont venus nous écouter et nous allons donc remercier tous les autres qui sont venus, qui ne sont pas des Congolais. Ça montre l'intérêt que notre pays représente pour l'humanité. Je dis, madame, encore une fois, merci pour l'opportunité que vous m'avez offerte pour profiter de cette tribune prestigieuse et parler devant cet auditoire des têtes bien faites. Et je crois que nous en aurons pour notre compte avec les questions qui vont suivre. <rires> And also the audience here, and especially speaking in front of the Congolese audiences, and of course also everybody else who has come here. And I have uh, some documents here which we will distribute eventually later on because I went through it and saw some th things that have to be uh, modified a little bit. But uh, it's really a pleasure to be here, and uh, you are uh, to be, I'm honored to be in front of this uh, think tank. And uh, thank you again. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Kamari. Um, uh, just to let you know, we, we're webcasting this event, so it will be available online. And if you, we have written documents in French and English, we'll also post those along um, with the video. Um, uh, so those will all be available to the audience here. Let's turn to Mvemba for comments and response and then the way forward. Uh, thank you very much, um, and welcome, Honorable Vital Kamari. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you in town. Uh, I also have to let you know what you already know for sure, just how much passion and excitement you generate these days. Uh, when the invitation went out, I got a lot of emails and a lot of voicemails. Uh, one particular, uh, somebody called and left a voicemail on my answering machine and said, I'm calling you in all civility, but I have to say that I've forcefully disagree with what you're doing. This is the most ridiculous thing you can do to lend your name on a panel with Vital Kamere. Did you know that he's a Burundian? <laughs> so I didn't know what to do with this kind of message. So, so welcome to Washington, D.C. <laughs> um, so I would just like to talk a little briefly, I think in, in the interest of time, so we'll, let, we'll give you more time for your questions. I think more of the meat will come from there. Kind of just a bit of the context of what we're talking about when we talk about the road ahead. In 2006, I had an opportunity to be both a reporter uh, in Eastern Congo and throughout the country. I was embedded with UN troops in Ituri, uh, on Lake Albert, where we did a lot of patrol trying to intercept weapons that were coming from Uganda to the militias, and did a lot of patrol in South Kivu against the Inter Ahamwe and the FDLR with the Pakistani troops there. So I had a sense of that. I also had a chance to visit the Panzi Hospital, actually to see this woman who had been raped, get a sense of uh, that calamity that is taking place in our country. I was also able to follow a candidate on the campaign trail in Bakongo, who was running for uh, a deputation as an MP. <coughs> Later on in the same year, I was back in the second round of the elections as an observer with the Carter Center and was posted in Bandaka and Jean-Pierre Bemba's territory. So I had a sense of what's happening from various perspectives. And since then, I've been back uh, several times. 2006 was a year of a lot of hope. You know, people used to think it was the first election that Congo had organized, but actually it was not because the last election were organized in 65. Um, these are the elections that eventually led to the coup uh, that brought Mobutu to power. Those elections were deemed fair in, 2000, in 1965. So this is to say that there is actually a tradition of fair elections even in Congo. 
You know, from 60 to 65, the Congolese ran their own elections. There were no international observers, right? Uh, when I arrived in, uh, in 2006 for the, uh, the observation, I called a friend's father, uh, and he asked me, why are you here? I said, I'm here to observe the elections. He said, oh, why do you always do these kind of things? You know, it's, it's a moot exercise. I can always tell you what the result will be and what your official statement will be. And he said, if you want, I can tell you now, or you can discuss it after a month when you finish your observation. I said, just tell me now. He said, well, the Carter Center will say, in spite of all the irregularities, the system was pretty much functional. It worked well. <laughs> and um, four weeks later, the frustration actually reflected what he had said, that even as an observer, we spent a lot of time. Uh, you know, an observer is like an investigative reporter. So you spend a lot of time, in the case of the DRC, with all the various parties, most of them didn't know what they were doing, uh, except just blaming the others. Uh, so there's a lot of accusations and allegations that as, a, as an investigator, as an observer, you have to go dig out and find. So we end up spending a lot of time in the equatorial forest with the pygmies, because everybody was saying the pygmies were not registered to vote, you know, just to give you an example. It turned out that was bogus. I remember some accusations and uh, went to going to investigate uh, the national police. And when I arrived, um, my partner was American, she so went to the police, they called the general, they told him these observers are here and this is what's happening. And the guy who was doing intelligence for the police spoke in Swahili. <laughs> so he told the general in Swahili and with my American passport, somehow they thought I couldn't understand what was going on. So it was due to a lot of BS being narrated so I kept my mouth shut, we were able to do the report. At the end, these reports never were used, right? Nevertheless, we had an election that uh, legitimized President Joseph Kabila, who became a president, and there was a lot of hope, particularly in the parliament. So we were able to follow that parliament pretty closely, and um, we were able to follow uh, Vital Kamere uh, as uh, the president very closely. The parliament gave a lot of hope, because in the case of the DRC, where there is not a strong history of political parties, there was not a lot of a strong history of transparent parliamentary work, um, the openness with which the National Assembly ran for those few months was pretty refreshing. So all the debates were televised. The opposition leaders and deputies and M MPs were allowed to bring forth their bills. So I think when you look at um, Congo, most people talk about the, uh, uh, the overwhelming uh, level of problems that Congo may have. But for once, there was an element of hope, right? So you had the review of a mining contract with China. You had a lot of hearings. You had... Uh, all these things being televised so that even there were reports that even though he had come from the IMP, the presidential coalition, uh, his people were not very happy. The rest of the country was happy because that these things are working. Um, but the challenge then became, even though these things were happening and it was televised, they never actually led to anywhere, right? So if we had hearings, then what happened after the hearing? So does it become just a moot exercise in the sense people are doing things because it feels good? And on the form level, it's great, but the, the form, the substance is lacking. So we had about two years of this period where uh, interpellation after interpellation, hearing after hearing, minister came through, but nothing really happened. But at the same time, it gave a certain momentum because this is where we saw, for instance, with the Chinese, the Chinese mining uh, contract. Some review were pushed, but again, didn't go very far. After the uh, Bundu Dia Congo uh, protestation and manifestation and revolt took place in Bakongo, uh, the Minister of the Interior at the time thought he could just go to Kong to the parliament and bulldoze his way through and get some result in favor of the government. But unfortunately for him, th there was certain op openness in parliament which allowed the leader of that party, uh, the BDK, to rebut the Minister of uh, Interior. So he was able to unravel the Minister's argument because there was a certain openness. And I think this actually led to the undoing of the Minister himself because when the Remanima took place after that, he was out. 
Um, so moving on to the next level, um, and that is what do we do then with the opposition when the government is so bent, or should I say the IMP is so bent on taking the lion's share and not even leaving crumbles for the rest of the, uh, the electorate or the people in the system? Right. Here's the challenge. If you take any African country, and this is just a, a rhetorical question, take Angola. If I ask you to, tell, to, name me, to name any opposition leader in Angola, most of you will be hard-pressed to give me a name of an opposition leader in Angola. That will be the same for Namibia. This will be the same for Botswana. And this uh, Botswana and Namibia country that are fairly organized, but you don't know them. If I ask you to name two names for the opposition leader in, in Congo, you will name a few. So it's, it's uh, it, to show just the contrast, how Congo is between two others. It's chaotic, but it's not always that chaotic. There is room, actually. The things that are happening, uh, they may be uh, happening in place, but things are actually moving. So it's not purely a mirage in that sense. Um, you have Chisekedi, you have UDPS, Chisekedi being the father of the democratic, the modern democratic movement in Congo. So if you analyze him, he is a guy who had a lot of courage to break out from, uh, from Obutu and start this great movement. Now, for whatever reason, uh, he's never been able to capitalize on, uh, on the various opportunities that came along the way. I don't know why, that's a UDPS to respond. But the UDPS nevertheless have a strong structure that makes it possible if some conditions were put together for them actually to challenge the power in place today. So on the other level, you had people like Jean-Pierre Bemba, who also came to, to illustrate the other side of the coin. So former rebel, but very rich. And because he was rich, because he had a structure of his own, he could do what the other parties cannot do. Right? So Sisekedi has a structure in terms of population and followers. But Sisekedi doesn't have money. The UDPS does not have money. <laughs> the UDPS does not have a radio. In a system where the government owns the media, the government owns the security forces and everything else. Uh, and is actually, the government is actually greedy. And by government, I mean the AMP. It's hard to operate in that system, right? So UDPS will never get airtime. Uh, but if you have your own radio station and your own TV station, then you can do that. So Bemba was able to emerge in part because of this. Right? There were frustration against the power in place, but there was also possibilities that he was able to capitalize on. And of course, the result we saw between the two rounds of the election, that his station were looted, burned, and so on and so forth. So when we have um, a new party that is born, the UNC with Kamere, what does that mean? So this actually raises the new questions. Does the UNC and the other parties that will emerge in the process going forward have any structure, right? So it's gonna be, or is this gonna be another exercise as we saw in, while you were the head of the parliament? Goodwill, popularity on the rise, but in the end, does it lead anywhere, right? So um, do you have followers? Uh, I think there's a lot of frustration. Are you gonna try to fill the void that Bemba left? And in that case, um, gain the popularity and the Moana Congo and all the other stuff that comes with it, the momentum. But still, when it comes to it, you will not be able to deliver because the structure, again, is not there. Right. Uh, because of the diaspora in the room, there is an element that has been very frustrating to your fellow Congolese around the world. And that is into the moratorium on citizenship. So in 2006, the Congolese overseas were very much eager to contribute, that is to vote. For whatever reason, the system made it impossible for them to vote, for very various reasons, with which you're very familiar. But then we found out quickly that once you were sworn in, that parliament, about 150 of you had foreign passports. So as the head foreign passport, you as the principal of the parliament, uh, I don't know what happened, so this will be a chance for, for you to explain to your fellow Congolese, decided not to kick these people out of parliament, as the law will have dictate, 
but instead to do something we've never seen in, anywhere in the world, to pass a moratorium on the law on citizenship. And that moratorium is still in place. So does that mean, as a Congolese with an American passport, I can challenge you for the presidency? <laughs> does it mean all the other people, you know what I'm saying? So to move on to the international community, the time is very critical for the DRC at this point. This is the time, this is not the time to talk about how tremendous and overwhelming the Congolese problem is, because that's really BS. Yeah. The Congolese problem is very well known. We know what they are. At this point with constitutional revision, we know exactly we should not tolerate this. You know, by lowering the age in, 2000, in 2006, by making certain concessions, it, it, you open the door for where we are today. You know, we are, we are where we are today. So, you know, they always talk in English about when you give a monster cookie, mm -hmm. he will come for a jar of milk. And you will be obliged to give him the jar of milk because his mouth is too sweet and you need to cool the sugar out. Mm. <laughs> so these are some of the issues. I'll leave it there and I will take it from. Oh, actually, before I close, so to go back to the international community, we know the issues at this specific moment where there is a fight for the installation of the CENI, mm. the transformation from the Electoral Independent Commission to the, t the permanent one, the CENI. There's a lot of bickering, a lot of going, things going through. You know, there's the, the Kabila camp has pushed for his uh, spiritual advisor to become the head of the CENI. Uh, there's a lot of things that are happening. Um, there is the uh, push from the government to do away with the entire database of the, the voters that were used in 2006 and start this thing anew, which does not make sense. If the government says that they don't have money, that's why they want uh, to renick. So how do you have n not have money on one level, but you're running all this large project to rebuild a new database? It's insane. So the international community then should, if they want to have a say, get involved and help the CENI with the mean. I think what we need with the means, what we need is actually, an, it's an audit, a general audit of where we are. You know, Chisekedi, for all his problem, had asked for a census in 2006. Everybody laughed at him, meaning in the international community. But that problem is we're on now today. So if we're going to renew the database, who are we putting in the database? Are we putting new people? Are we putting the dead? Are we adding the young people who are 18 now? We can vote, who were 14 in 2006. What's going on? So there is an element, a very specific area where I think the international community can add a lot of value. I stop here. Thank you very much. <laughs> Great. Um, uh, that's, thanks very much, Mvemba. And I will leave to you to respond to some of the, the questions. But let's open up first. We'll take a few questions at a time and then turn back to our panelists um, to respond in, in the interest of time. Um, one question I'd like to start out with is, Mvemba, you talked a little bit about the role of the international community focus on the Electoral Commission, for example, and the, the database. I, I'm wondering, and perhaps Ms., Mr. Kamari also, um, where is it best that the U.S. can exert pressure? One, one of the questions on this, we, do, we have a kind of a laundry list of things we're doing to help with the crisis and security sector reform and, and, and this and that. But the, the real question, how do we change the behavior of Kabila himself? I mean, where, where is the leverage? What matters to him um, that, we, that we control? Um, but let's uh, take some questions. So we've got that one on the table, and we'll take one from this gentleman. I'd like to say, please make it a question, and please make it brief, because we have a translator here as well that, that needs to, uh, we don't want to overwork. Okay. Merci, Mr. Kamere. Pour, uh, Thank you, Mr. Kamere. Uh, mon nom, c'est Jean Kambakabangu. My name is Jean Kambakabangu. Je suis le président de l'IDPS à Washington. I'm the president of UDPS in Washington. I just have two questions. One question. Uh, one question. In 1992, Ngoons Karlibond was here. He was in the government. He was in the government. 
Et il a fait le même discours. Comme vous. He gave the same speech, like you. Et vous avez aussi la même ressemblance à ces messieurs-là. You resemble like, like him, physically. <laughs> physically. Bon, maintenant, il a été un caméléon. He was a chameleon. Est-ce que c'est le même discours It's the same speech. Et c'est presque la même tactique que vous allez utiliser. The same tactics you're going to utilize. Peut-être dans six mois pour rentrer dans le cadre du gouvernement. Uh, maybe in six months you're going to go back in the government. C'est ma question. Comme on a dit que. Okay. That's my question. Il fallait réserver une seule question. Yeah. Thank you. Just one question. Uh, you will take three. Three. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, the gentleman here. And then we'll okay, come back later. Thank you. Uh, we, I can ask my question in French. Merci, bienvenue, Monsieur Vital Camere. Welcome, Mr. Vital Camere. Je m'appelle Monsieur Losoboya. Je suis My name le is secrétaire Losoboya. national du parti euh, politique Alliance Chrétienne pour le, euh, pour le progrès. I'm uh, sec General Secretary of Alliance pour uh, le progrès. I have a question for you. Moi, j'étais candidat en 2006. I was uh, candidate in 2006. Dans le Bandundu, candidat Bandundu, à la nationale. Uh, for, uh, Alors, as an MP. Uh, la question que je vous pose par rapport aux élections de 2011. My question on uh, 2011. Nous savons que le pouvoir a tout mis en œuvre We pour barrer la route à l'opposition. Has done everything to stop uh, the opposition. Il me semble que ce qu'il faut faire pour nous de l'opposition, c'est de nous assurer que au niveau des opérations électorales, qui est le minimum de fraude on barre la route à la fraude et qu'est-ce que euh, M. Kamere pense comment nous pouvons euh, gérer cette situation là I know what is important for us is to that there will be some frauds and uh, we have to go ahead and try to block these frauds and what is uh, what can Mr. Kamere say about it Merci beaucoup pour la question. Thank you for the question. Je réponds au nom de Ben Béa. Je My suis name is ben un Béa. analyste politicien. Uh, I'm a political analyst. Je voulais poser euh, deux questions seulement. Two questions. One. Pouvant, une question seulement. Ok, une question que M. Kamere puisse nous parler sur les originalités. Uh, Mr. Kamere, to speak to, by, uh, to us about his, uh, his origins. En 1971. Ok, that's it. Merci. Non, non, qu'il explique, parce qu'il me permet de répondre. Have him explain so he could be able to. Ok, le président Mobutu avait promulgué un degré demandant aux Congolais de recourir à leur nom authentique. En 1971, le président Mobutu a passé un décret demandant aux Congolais de have un nom national, un authentique nom, comme ils l'appelaient then. En quelle vertu? Uh, Monsieur Kamere, sur son diplôme au Congo en 1987, uh, how about Mr. On, his diploma in 1987? on voit le nom de Vital Kamere, Wakanya Sisize. Wakanya Sisize. Comment se fait qu'il pouvait continuer à utiliser le nom de Vital? How could he continue to use the name of Vital? Alors qu'aucun Congolais ne pouvait et utiliser les noms qui étaient seulement réservés aux étrangers. Oh, at that time, merci. no Congolese could have used a name that was a foreign name. Merci, monsieur, merci. Merci. Okay. Merci beaucoup. Let's turn Thank to you. This, Thank you very much. Question. Je commence par la dernière question, puisqu'elle mm -hmm. est la plus facile. Let me start with the last one because it's the easiest one. Et ce qui explique par ailleurs que notre pays n'avance pas. This is explains why our country is not moving forward. Voilà un compatriote congolais. Look at a, uh, a Congolese compatriot. Nous sommes à Washington dans un centre d'études stratégiques. We are in Washington DC on the center of strategic studies. Mais Monsieur Kamere peut mourir, le peuple congolais va rester. Mr. Kamere can die, the Congolese people will remain. C'est le plus important, la that's, nation congolaise. That's the most important, the Congolese nation. Mon père s'appelle Constantin Kamere. Kanigini. My father's name is Constantin Kamere Kanigini. Ma mère s'appelle Mwankingi Alphonsine, elle est de la lignée royale. My mother is Mwankingi Alphonsine, she is from a royal family. Je suis baptisé au nom de Vital. I was baptized in the name of Vital. Je suis catholique. I'm Catholic. Né à Bukavu. Born in Bukavu. J'ai étudié aussi bien en Bujimai, au Bandundu, Bakongo. Je parle tous les quatre, toutes les quatre langues. I studied in uh, Bukavu, in Bujimai, in Bandundu, in Bakongo, and I speak all the four national Et languages. Et ce ne sont pas mes collègues de promotion à tous les niveaux qui manquent. 
À l'université de Kinshasa où j'ai étudié avec beaucoup d'amis. Uh, j'ai terminé mes études sous le nom de Vital Kamere Luakanyigini Nkingi. I finished my studies under the name of uh, Vital Kamere Luakanyigini Nkingi. J'ai fait 11 ministères comme conseiller directeur de cabinet. I was I went through 11 ministries as an advisor. At the ministry et quand j'ai décidé de faire la politique, When I decided to go to politics, pour des raisons médiatiques, for mediatic reasons, je m'appelle Vital Kamere et je coupe là. I just cut it down to Vital Kamere. Si vous voulez que j'ajoute comme Mobutu Sese Kukumwendo Azabanga, je peux ajouter. If you want me to add like uh, Kukumwendo Azabanga, I will add it. Si c'est la nostalgie, je peux ajouter. If you feel uh, you homesick about it, je you voudrais dire ceci. To, to, to do it. Je voudrais dire ceci. I'm not saying this. Le vrai Congolais. The real Congolese. Celui qui pose des actes bénéfiques au Congo. The one that brings in forth real acts for the benefit of the Un Congo. Un Américain. An American. Naturalisé Congolais. Who has become Congolese. Qui va développer un petit coin de mon village. Il est plus Congolais qu'un Congolais. Who will develop a small corner of my village. Is more of a Congolese than a Congolese. Je voudrais, je voudrais revenir sur la question qui a été soulevée par... Mon contradicteur, mais il ne m'a pas contredit, je le remercie, puisqu'il m'a quand même il a fait un peu d'éloge. C'est ça l'histoire. Thank you so much. I'm going to respond to Mr. Puisque Mbemba's question. Puisque la science, la première, le premier réflexe, c'est l'honnêteté scientifique. In science, the first thing is to be very, very honest. J'ai dirigé l'Assemblée nationale. I was the head of the national assembly. J'ai dit au peuple congolais que je mettrais l'église au milieu du village et les intérêts du peuple congolais avant tout. I told the Congolese people I will put the church in the middle of the the, the, the village and of course first thing Allez the interest of the Congolese Allez people. Allez aujourd'hui au Congo demander combien suivent encore les plénières de l'Assemblée nationale. Go to to the Congo now and find out how many can follow today live on TV national assemblies debates. Moi Vital Kamere j'ai refusé la levée de l'immunité d'abord de Jean-Pierre Bemba. I refuse to take away Jean Bemba's humanity. Je ne sais pas où est-ce que vous étiez. Je suis allé voir Jean-Pierre Bemba à l'ambassade de l'Afrique du Sud. Il était réfugié. I don't know where you were, but I went to see Jean-Pierre Bemba at the uh, South African Embassy. He was a refugee there. Je suis allé le voir au Portugal. I went to see him in Portugal. Je suis allé le voir à La Haye. I went to La Haye. J'ai refusé la levée de l'immunité de Nemwanda Semi, le patron de Bundu du Congo. J'ai dit non. I refuse to take away uh, the uh, humanity of uh, Bundu Dia Congo's leader, Nemwanda Semi. J'ai refusé le bradage des richesses du Congo. J'ai dit non, le contrat chinois doit être assorti des recommandations. I refused to take any type of uh, bradage on the Donc, wealth je voudrais, of the Congo with Je the voudrais Chinese. dire à mon distingué frère Vemba, My friend Vemba, distinguished friend Vemba. Que la question de Burundi ou de Rwanda. The question of Burundi or Rwanda. C'est les 100 000 Congolais de Bukavu qui m'ont élu comme député. J'ai été élu avec 100 000 voix. I was elected with 100,000 voices of the Congolese of Bukavu. Ils doivent répondre à cette question. Mais au-delà de ça. We can answer to that question. Au-delà de ça. Above that. Pourquoi nous les Africains nous détestons? Why do we hate each other as Africans? Nous sommes des Africains. We are Africans. Battons-nous pour que l'Afrique soit forte. Let's fight that Africa could be strong. Au début, c'était l'Europe. At the beginning, it was Europe. C'était l'Europe est venue coloniser l'Amérique. Uh, Europe came to colonize America. L'Amérique a saisi sa chance. America took its chance. Après, c'était le Japon. Uh, after that was uh, Japan. Aujourd'hui, on parle de la Chine. Now we're talking about China. Du Brésil. We're talking about Brazil. Les, mi, les, la décennie qui commence aujourd'hui, je voudrais que ça soit today. la décennie de l'Afrique. This decade must be the Africans' decade. Et nous avons tous les atouts. We have everything that we need. Que ça soit le réchauffement climatique, nous avons la forêt. Uh, if there's a problem global warming, we have the forest. Que ça soit la fin dans le monde, nous avons les terres arables. Uh, hunger, we have uh, a lot of land. Que ça soit l'énergie propre, nous avons les barrages d'Inga et Cle autres. Clean energy, we have the barrage the uh, Inga Dam. Les matières premières, n'en parlons pas. Uh, raw material, I mean, you know, we got L'eau, n'en parlons pas. Water. Qu'est-ce qui manque? What, do, what, do, what are we missing? Pour les Congos, ce qui manque, c'est l'oula. Tout simplement pour les Congos. The only thing that we're missing in Congo is lula. Le Congo, c'est la République africaine du Brésil et nous pouvons enjamber toutes les étapes du développement. 
The Congo is just a photocopy of uh, Brazil. We could just do the same and go through that development. Je voudrais dire à madame à madame Jennifer, merci beaucoup. Thank you madame pour Jennifer. Question. For your question. C'est une question très importante. It's a very important question. Nous sommes dans un monde globalisé. Nous sommes à la mondialisation. We are in a globalization. Et world. vous savez très bien que les États-Unis d'Amérique en tant que puissance jouent un grand rôle. And you know the US as uh, one of the biggest power plays an important role. Vous avez suivi quand ça a bougé en Tunisie la position des États-Unis d'Amérique. You followed what happened in Tunisia, uh, Tunisia and the US position. Et maintenant que ça bouge en Égypte, on suit encore la position. And now what's going on in Egypt, we même are Même si ce n'est pas la même, mais on suit la position. We following what's happening uh, with the position of the Americans. Qu'est-ce que l'Amérique peut faire? What America could do? Il y a la révision, disons la le pro, la prorogation du mandat de la MONUSCO, la mission des Nations Unies au Congo au mois de mai. There is the extension of the uh, terms of uh, the MONUSCO, which is the UN forces in the Congo in the month of May. Et c'est là que je voudrais répondre aussi à, la, à mon frère qui a dit pour combattre la tricherie. And that's why uh, I like to respond to the friend who spoke about uh, fighting fraud. Il faut qu'on donne clairement à la MONUC un mandat aussi électoral, c'est-à-dire sécuriser les sites électoraux et les candidats. Uh, we have also to give an electoral mandate to the UN. That means sec bring security to the candidates. Et sécuriser les résultats. Security of the results. Puisque quand on transporte les procès verbaux des sites vers les centres de compilation, c'est là que la tricherie se passe. When we're moving uh, the documents from uh, the, the office, of, uh, the, the enrollment area, and that's where the fraud happens. Je voudrais donc uh, remercier tous les amis qui ont soulevé beaucoup de questions, mais je ne veux pas échapper à la question des moratoires sur la nationalité. Uh, I thank all the friends who have brought up questions, but uh, I'm going to talk, uh, I will not uh, avoid uh, the question on uh, the nationality mon aspect. Frère, of... Mon frère Vemba a raison. Effectivement, non seulement les députés, mais aussi les membres du gouvernement ont des doubles passeports. My uh, friend Vemba is right. Not only uh, members of parliament, but also government uh, uh, Ministers and officials have also two Mais passports. Quel est le problème, What is the problem now? Nous nous avons proposé ceci. Puisque beaucoup de gens se disent, si on consacre la double nationalité chez nous, nous risquons d'avoir certains voisins qui ont toujours la convoitise sur nos ressources naturelles. Et ça, c'est une obsession pour les Congolais. Alors nous disons, qu'est-ce qu'on fait Est-ce qu'on ne peut pas aller par étapes So, uh, we said, what are we going to do? Because we know that we have a lot of neighboring countries who really have an envy to have the food in the Congo. So, what should we do? Therefore, we have to go step by step. Et donc, moi, j'ai dit que nous ne pouvons pas nous prévaloir de nos propres turpitides. Notre administration est faible, l'État est absent. Alors, il ne faut pas sacrifier les droits des citoyens parce que l'État est absent. We have to understand the state or the government is absent. Therefore, we cannot sacrifice the rights of the citizens because of the absence of the government. Quand nous avions demandé que les membres de la diaspora commencent à voter dans nos ambassades, on dit non, non, ce n'est pas très sûr que les ambassades fonctionnent co correctement. Alors, on fait quoi? When we asked uh, that the dias uh, our diaspora could start voting in the embassy, the reaction was that, well, well, our embassies are not well secured. You know, so let's not let people vote there. So what do we la do? La question de la double nationalité. Double nationality is question. Comme elle se trouve dans la constitution. It's in the constitution. Puisque la constitution dit que la nationalité congolaise est une et exclusive. The constitution says that the Congolese nationality is one and, and, and exclusive. Si vous ouvrez cette question. If you opened up that question. Moi, je craignais à l'époque que le pouvoir n'en profite pour réviser d'autres articles de la Constitution. Mais je suis d'accord avec vous. I, I agree with you. On ne peut pas restreindre les droits des citoyens congolais. We cannot, uh, restrain the rights of the Congolese Et j'ai à le dire, l'Union pour la Nation Congolaise va défendre la position qui fait qu'au niveau de la loi électorale qui sera discutée, que la diaspora puisse recouvrer ses droits de voter. Ce qui ont peur de la diaspora, c'est parce qu'ils ont mal géré le pays et savent que la diaspora va les sanctionner. C'est ça la vérité. I, I can say, as far as, I'm, as far as I'm concerned and the UNC is concerned, 
we will fight that the Congolese of the diaspora can have the rights. Pour terminer l'union pour la nation hold. congolaise, mon frère Vemba, ce n'est pas une distraction de plus. Puisque ce que nous avons fait à l'Assemblée nationale, l'histoire a pris date. C'est dans les annales de l'histoire. Vous savez, Rome ne s'est pas construit en un seul jour. Et nous sommes ici, dans l'opposition, pas pour crier, pas pour dire que nous sommes contre un individu. Non, c'est pour dire que le pays est mal gouverné, l'État est absent. Voici ce que nous pouvons faire pour notre pays et nous pouvons avancer. Telle est la locomotive et les wagons. Pourquoi quand nous avons vécu à l'époque, on nous avait promis l'objectif 80 et quand les dirigeants au pouvoir démarrent, on quitte le Louabour pour aller vers le Bombassi, ils arrivent à la première gare, la locomotive part et abandonne tous les wagons. Et ils arrivent seuls à l'objectif 80. Nous, nous ne voulons plus de ça. Quand Joseph Kabila aussi prend traduction. le pouvoir, c'est la même chose. Donc c'est un développement à deux vitesses. Donc nous voulons, cette fois-ci, que la locomotive et les wagons avancent au même rythme. My friend Vemba. <laughs> My friend Vemba, I understand what you are saying about UNC. You know, everything, we have done what we have done, and you can find this out, you know, we have all the documentation that exists. You know, Rome was not built in one day. And uh, you got to know, in the past, when during the Mobutu era, when we spoke about uh, Objective 80. You know, what we have in our minds is that <laughs> when we have a train, a train has got a, a head and then it's got cars. And we, we believe that when the train oui, moves, it important. must move with all the trains and with all the cars together. Je demande l'indulgence de Madame Jennifer pour répondre à mon ami Jean Kabangou de l'IDPS. Could I just respond to uh, Mrs. Jean Kabangou? Okay, let's a uh, brief response so we can get more questions, I think. Oui, yeah. Juste uh, brièvement. Vous savez, l'histoire est était, mon frère Kabangou, euh, c'est Kabangou, non Jean, Kamba, Kabangoui, Kabangoui, moi je ne peux pas ignorer, je connais bien les Tchilba, c'est Kabangou. <rire> euh, donc, l'histoire est était, vous savez, si nous ouvrons cette boîte à Pandore, on peut le dire, euh, oui, il va, il va traduire, si nous ouvrons, il va résumer, si nous ouvrons cette boîte à Pandore, vous verrez que de 1960 à ce jour, même le leader de l'IDPS n'est pas épargné, il a été dans beaucoup de gouvernements. Il a travaillé avec le président Mobutu. Il a été premier ministre, il a été ministre, il a été commissaire général. Est-ce que cela veut dire pour autant que Tshisekedi n'a pas changé et qu'il ne peut pas mener des idées de changement Non, je refuse cette sentence. À sens unique, je dis non. Nous tous, nous avons péché et que celui qui n'a pas péché lève le doigt et jette la pierre à la femme. Et si... Okay, et attendez, si d'un côté, attendez, si côté traduction, nous devons chaque fois dire que c'est les autres qui ont péché, nous nous sommes des saints, les hommes providentiels, ça ne marche pas avec la démocratie. Il faut éviter les hommes providentiels en démocratie. En démocratie, il faut être humble et que le peuple nous dise, de vous tous, c'est celui-là que je vais. Et je vous remercie. Donc, euh, My friend, pour les uh, traductions pour les anglophones. Oui, je vais juste briefer très rapidement. Nous savons l'histoire, vous savez. Who doesn't know where Udipe started and uh, the leaders to Sekedi? It was time. He was a minister in Mobutu's government. He participated in everything. He was one of those who even wrote uh, the manifesto of Denseli and all that. However, that's it. However, that's the Yeah. So, I mean, that's part of the history. But because of that, can we really believe and say that Chisekedi cannot change or has not changed? Because he at one time belonged to that, uh, to, to the Mobutism on, uh, and worked with all the government in the past. Can we really say that? You know, so that's the question. Okay. We're going to take uh, four questions and turn back to the panel. Uh, this is going to be difficult. We're going to take the gentleman there, up front here. I will start with a, a, few, a very short uh, joke. You are looking for Lula. I am Alula Mier. <laughs> <laughs> Alula, c'est mon nom. 
Donc, moi, c'est à Lula. Donc, si vous cherchez pour votre Lula, je suis là. Euh, If you're looking for Lula, I'm here. OK. Euh, honorable Kamere. Honorable Kamere. Um, I will try to say it in English directly so you can translate. Thank you. We were a little bit shocked by the fact that going from the majority to come to the opposition, the tactic that you use is a little bit, it is really shocking. Everybody know that Union for the Nation was represent 42% of the Congolese who vote for Jean-Pierre Bemba. And this group, political group, still represent the, some deputy in the parliament and some senator in the parliament, actually. You are simply ignoring the international property law that Congo have signed, the Berne Convention, because for example, by taking Union for, for the Nation and just act as adding Congolese, it's, it's a very bad thing. The second thing is in the case, the case of UNC. UNC, a handful president of Congo as a president of UNIC, UNIC, in International Integrity de Congo, in 2006. So the name of UNIC is protected and like copyrighted. What is your question? OK, my question. <laughs> How do you think that the opposition can welcome you if you come in this way, very tricky way on the opposition? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's take one from the gentleman, uh, not in the back row, but in the one right before. Yeah. Bonjour, Monsieur Vital Kamere. Mon nom est Chanel Nkuka. What's your name? Mon nom est Chanel, Chanel Kuka. My name is Chanel Kuka. Euh, du Congo Brazzaville. Of Brazzaville. Et euh, je vous ai entendu parler de, de l'Afrique. Donc ma question I est celle de savoir quelles sont les dispositions prises par M. Vital Kamere pour euh, remettre en valeur les, les droits de l'homme. What is your position on the human rights, to the value of human rights? Je okay. vous remercie. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent brief question. <laughs> okay. How about the lady here in the third row? Thank you. Uh, Mr. Kamere. Can you identify yourself? Uh, my name is Jillian Aldebrun. I'm an American. <laughs> I spent some time in Congo, but it was a long time ago when it was that year. Um, you spoke earlier about the opposition unifying. And at the same time, you're talking about your own candidacy. It seems strategically that since the Constitution has been amended now, there won't be a second uh, runoff, that it would make sense for the entire opposition to unify behind a single candidate. And uh, what is your feeling about this? Merci bien pour uh, la parole. Thank you for the question. For the Je m'appelle Dr. Emile Boula. Je suis My name is Dr. Emile Boula. Uh, J'ai juste une petite question. I just have a question. Le 16 décembre 2010. 16th, 16th of December 2010. Le 16 December 2010. 2010. 16 December, 16th of Sur Radio Capi, On vous Radio avez Capi. dit que je suis venu demander pardon à la population de Goma. I came to ask pardon, forgiveness to the population of Goma. Puisque j'ai menti en 2006. Because I lied in 2006. Moi je vois pas mal comment vous n'avez pas dit ce que vous avez menti. You didn't say uh, what you lied about. Puisque pour demander pardon, il faut, il faut dire j'ai pris ta femme, j'ai fait ceci, j'ai fait cela. <laughs> Et puis c'est pourquoi je suis venu demander pardon. Because uh, if you want for forgiveness, you have to give details. I took your wife or whatever. Alors, nous voudrons aujourd'hui que vous nous disiez. Tell us today. Qu'est-ce que vous avez menti? Parce so que nous what, savons. What, on, what did you lie about? Dire que je suis entré dans le PPRD à cause uh, de leur projet de société. I already understand. Saying that. Uh, okay. He said oui. He, he, dire he, que je suis, j'étais dans le PPRD à cause de leur projet de société et qu'en 2006. Saying that I was Kabila. in PPRD because of the uh, project of society that they have. 
et qu'en 2006, quand le président Kabila a pris le pouvoir, il n'a pas suivi le projet des sociétés. And uh, when 2006, uh, President Kabila took power, he didn't follow up what was set up, your objectives of, uh, of your programs. Il n'y a pas de mensonge là-dessus. Quand vous êtes rendu compte que... Okay, okay, I think we, we have the question. Yeah, but uh, let's, you. let me finish. Ok, comme on ne veut pas se passer de ça, alors je pense que... On a la question, on a compris. Oui, mais il y a l'autre volet de la question. Non, 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 non. c'est pas comme ça. Dans une conférence. Oui, oui. Ok, last question. Une femme. Ici. Non, ça c'est... Up in the front row. My name is Nita Evele. I represent uh, Congo Global Action and Advocacy Group here for the RC. Uh, my question is regarding um, the, um, the military. Uh, when Mr. Kamiri talk about his project that we don't have, unfortunately, you talk about a potential military um, intervention if nothing is working. So my question here is um, what type of um, military intervention is talking about when we know in the RC we don't even have an army? And I remember that uh, it was during his being close to President Kabila that they have decided to integrate all the rebels and all the militias into the army. And people over the east, in the East will also tell you that in that process they, they did integrate Rwandese and Burundians and Ugandans soldiers into the army. So my question is, by taking that decision of integrating all the militia and rebels, it seems like they didn't have an after plan. Now we have a FRDC army who is worse than the FDLR in human rights abuse. So my question is, what kind of pro program he has to reform the military? Please, thanks. Okay. Okay, we're going to turn back to you, uh, Mr. Kamari, and then we'll give Mvemba kind of a wrap up. If you, Mvemba, you have a comment, and and um, so go ahead. Yeah. Je commence par la question de Madame Nita, si j'ai bien noté la question. Je commence par la question de Madame Nita. Yeah, let me start with uh, Mrs. Nita. C'est une question. Miss Nita. Je yeah. crois que c'est la meilleure question du jour. That's the best question of the day. Puisqu'elle dit que j'ai parlé d'une intervention militaire dans mon plan que j'ai présenté tout à l'heure. Because she says that I spoke about a military plan on the program that I spoke about. Vous avez raison, Madame. You're right. Je mentirai en disant que nous avons une armée. Restructurer, intégrer et républicaine chez nous. It would be a lie for me to say that we have an integrated, restructured army at home. Voilà pourquoi. Why? J'avais dit que les forces conjointes. That uh, all the forces together. Les forces armées congolaises et rwandaises. Uh, Congolese forces and Rwandese forces. Ça allait tourner alors au pire à l'est. It would have been worse bringing those together in the eastern part of the Congo. Là, vous me donnez raison. And then, uh, I mean, I'm right by that. Je me suis opposé à cela. I oppose that. Et j'avais même dit qu'à l'est du Congo. I even said that the eastern part of the Congo. Au moment où on a fait la conférence de Goma, le 8 janvier 2008. Uh, uh, January 2008, when we have the conference of Goma. Les CNDP, les rebelles. CNDP, les the rebels, Rwanda, uh, supported by Rwanda. Nous avons donné des effectifs de 4,000 hommes. They gave us 4,000 people. Mais quand le président Kabila signe, par ses envoyés interposer l'accord avec le Rwanda pour les forces conjointes. When the President Kabila signs uh, the agreements with the Rwanda on these forces, le 23 août 23 of August in 2008, mais on va nous faire une intégration à la va-vite. It was just a fast integration. Quick. On n'a pas compris par une espèce de génération spontanée comment les forces de CNDP sont passées de 4 000 à 9 000. It was a surprise. We couldn't understand how this integration, the Rwandan forces went from 4 000 to 9 000. Personne n'est dupe. Ce sont les troupes rwandaises aujourd'hui qui uh, sont it's, dans notre armée. It's the Rwandan troops that is in our army. Et c'est très grave. And it's really dangerous. It's very bad. Disons, That's why we say, pour répondre à la dernière partie de votre question, to respond to your last part of the question, si nous gagnons les prochaines élections, if we win the next elections, et si Dieu est levé, Go uh, God willing. Moi, je suis chrétien. I'm a Christian. Qu'est-ce que je ferai pour l'armée? What will I do for the army? Il faudra, primo, first of all, recaserner tous les militaires. Bring back, put in a chasm, I mean, in a camp, all the military. Avoir un critérium, le standard. Have a standard. 
Nous avons besoin de combien de militaires pour le pays? How many soldiers we need for the country? Et le dernier doit toucher combien? How much the last one must be paid? Est-ce que nous allons réhabiliter la cantine pour qu'il ait la nourriture à la fin du mois? How about the distribution of food within the military camp? Nous allons faire comme à l'époque les centres médicaux dans les casernes. Just like it used to be back then the, the medical center should be within the military camp. Les enfants des militaires doivent avoir accès à l'école dans les camps. Uh, the soldiers' children must have the schools within the camp. Military Et le militaire ne sort du camp militaire qu'avec une autorisation pour les sports. A soldier can get out of the camp with an authorization to go out. Et les camps militaires ne sont pas dans la ville puisque la ville c'est l'objectif. Uh, the military camp cannot be in town because the city is the objective. La ville, It si has la to ville be outside. Attaqué, les militaires sont dans la ville, alors la ville tombe. If the city is attacked and the, the camp is inside the city, definitely the city will fall. Chez nous, les militaires sont dispersés même à la cité. For back at home, the soldiers even, they are living in the city and they are all over the Imaginez-vous si Kinshasa est attaqué, comment on va rassembler les militaires? How can we bring back all the soldiers if Kinshasa is attacked? Vous serez étonné d'apprendre que votre voisin militaire mais ne met pas son uniforme depuis longtemps. Uh, you'll be surprised to hear that your neighbor is a soldier, but he hasn't put his uniform for very, very long. Pas facile, mais qui demande la volonté. It's a hard, hard work. It's not easy. It requires a lot of uh, willingness. Et la vision. And a vision. Emile Boula dit que le 16 décembre Emile 2010, Boula says, uh, December dit, 16, 2010, dit I said, au peuple congolais parce que j'avais menti. I ask for forgiveness to the Congolese people because I lied. Vous savez, la langue française a des nuances, comme la je pense. The French language has a lot of nuances, Quand just like je, English. Je me suis trompé et je vous ai induit en erreur. When I say I uh, made a mistake and I uh, misguided you, Il a que Dieu qui ne se trompe. Uh, only God that doesn't make a mistake. Quand, que je reconnaisse que je m'étais trompé, il faut me féliciter déjà. For me admitting that I uh, just made a mistake, you have to, you, I mean, you have to Puisque là, je ne vais pas congratulate me for that. Because I don't want to stay on that mistake. Maintenant, ce qu'il veut que je lui dise. What he wants me to tell him. Sur quoi je m'étais trompé. On what was ça I la wrong? Question. That's the question. Mais j'avais été très clair. I was very clear. Tout en restant galant. I was very gentleman. Tout en disant que les choix que je vous avais indiqués n'étaient pas les bons. The choice that I showed you was the, the right one. Vous voulez toujours qu'on appelle les chats par son nom, c'est ça? You just want to call the cat all the time by its name. Nous avons donc été les directeurs de campagne de président Joseph Kabila en 2006. I was the campaign manager of President Kabila in 2006. J'ai fait 122 territoires sur 142 que compte notre pays. Out of 142 territories, I went in 122. J'étais convaincu. I was convinced. Du fait que ensemble, nous because avions d'abord réussi les dialogues intercongolais. We were, we were very successful with the Congolese dialogue. Nous avons une transition avec Jean-Pierre Bemba, Rubero et tout le monde. We had a great transition with Jean-Pierre Bemba, Rubero and everybody else. Nous avions repris le programme avec le Fonds monétaire international de la Banque mondiale qui était rompu depuis 90 à l'époque uh, de Mobutu. We took back, brought back the IMF program that was uh, interrupted since 1990 during Mobutu's time. Moi, je n'aime pas falsifier l'histoire. I don't cheat history. Et nous sommes allés aux élections. We went to the elections. Le problème a commencé quand on a gagné les élections. The problem started when we won the elections. Qu'est-ce qu'on doit faire du pouvoir? What should we do of the power? Kamere, président de l'Assemblée nationale. Kamere, président de l'Assemblée nationale. Jugez-moi là-dessus. Judge me on that. Gizenga, premier ministre. Gizenga, uh, prime minister. Jugez-le aussi, et après c'est Mouzito. Judge him on that, and then Mouzito. Mais nous Mouzito. sommes dans le cas de séparation de pouvoir, mais dans la complémentarité, puisque l'objectif, c'est améliorer les conditions de vie du peuple congolais. We work under separation power. However, we complete each other. The objective is to resolve the problem of the Congolese people. Mais j'ai beau tournoyer là-bas au palais I, du peuple, comme l'a dit mon frère Vemba. I did all I could in Parliament, as said uh, by uh, my uh, friend uh, Vemba. Je peux interpeller les ministres. Uh, we had a lot of interpolations of Je the peux ministers. Faire des recommandations à la justice. I recommended, made recommendations Pour to the justice. Pour que tel ministre soit poursuivi. For that uh, such and such a minister must be taken to a court. Mais si l'exécutif dit au, au judiciaire non, laissez le ministre tranquille. What do you want me to do if uh, the executive gives instructions to the ju judicial system to leave him alone? Est-ce que mon frère, vous avez oublié qu'à l'époque de la transition, Olivier Kamita, tout président de l'Assemblée nationale, avait mis en place une commission qui avait établi que certains ministres s'étaient compromis. On n'a pas donné au ministre le temps de se justifier. Il fallait laisser que le ministre se justifie. Et le processus a jusqu'au bout. Ces dossiers, on l'a enterré. During the transition, uh, Kamitat was uh, uh, the president of the parliament. 
and uh, he had uh, uh, set up or a program where a lot of ministers who had to be uh, interpelled, right? Parce que nous sommes dans un pays de justice. Il ne suffit pas de dire qu'elle a volé pour qu'on l'arrête. Non, on lui donne l'occasion de s'expliquer. You just don't say such and such a person has justice. stolen. You have to give him an, an opportunity to the justice. Donc, je crois que nous avons beaucoup à faire, Madame. We Gillian, got a lot to do. Madame Gillian, je vous remercie pour votre question. Uh, Madame Gillian, thank you for your question. Face au pouvoir actuel, facing avec the tout, actual power, toutes les manipulations de la constitution et de la loi électorale, uh, with all the manipulation of the constitution and electoral law, l'opposition ne doit pas se permettre d'aller en ordre dispersé. The opposition must stick together. Nous devons nous surpasser. We have to put ourselves above. Et pour y parvenir, to reach that, le premier élément qui doit nous fédérer, c'est le programme préélectoral commun. Qu'est-ce que nous faisons pour avoir les élections transparentes ensemble dans l'opposition? The first thing we have to do, we have to have a pre-electoral program, a common pre-electoral program together. La deuxième chose, nous l'opposition, nous voulons le pouvoir. We want pour faire quoi pour What le peuple congolais? For the un minimum people. de programme d'amélioration des conditions de vie de la uh, population. Un minimum de programme pour l'amélioration de la Congolais de la situation. Trois, Three. on rédige les critères. We have to set up some standards. Comme and quand criteria. on va coudre un habit. Just like a sewing a suit. Alors on va prendre cet habit, on va essayer à Kabangu. We'll on va take that suit, try it on Kabangu, à Mugisho, à and then Mugisho to somebody else. Mais celui qui l'habit va aller, c'est celui-là qui sera la tête de peloton. Whoever that uh, suit is going to fit on, he's going to be the, the, the head of the, the whole. Mais inverser la démarche. However, do it uh, on the inverse side. En commençant par les personnes. Starting by the people, by the person. Là où vous cherchez à ce que l'opposition ne s'entende pas. L'opposition là se met d'accord, d'abord sur les critères. We have, first of all, to accept the criteria we're going to set up. Ou alors, nous faisons comme ici aux États-Unis d'Amérique. Or we do like we do in America. Je me souviens quand nous suivions de très loin. I remember we were parlé, following pretty far. On a parlé de Obama. When they were speaking about Obama. J'ai dit, mais c'est pas possible. Face it's not à, possible. À Madame Hillary Clinton, que le monde entier connaît. Facing up uh, Mrs. Clinton that the whole world knows. Je crois que là-bas aussi, on avait dit, bon, le président Obama est jeune, il faut laisser à Mme Hillary Clinton qui continue. We said uh, that time that, well, uh, Mr. Obama is too young, we have to let uh, Mrs. Clinton Alors, il faut Clinton laisser, peut-être par moment, over. que la base parle. We have to let the base and the people speak. Peut-être ce que vous pensez, ce n'est pas nécessairement ce que pense l'électorat. Whatever you think, it's not necessary what the electoral is thinking. Alors, donc nous, nous allons nous plier à l'opinion de l'opposition. We will bend to the, to the opinion of the opposition. Qui sera une opinion objective. An objective uh, uh, opinion. Si ils disent, Monsieur Kamere, vous devez vous mettre derrière tel, je suis prêt. If they say, Mr. Kamere, you have to be behind such and such a person, I'm willing to do so. Mais ceci doit être valable pour tout candidat. But that should be for everybody else, all the candidates. Pas d'homme providentiel. Non-providential men. Voilà, tous humbles et Dieu va nous relever. Merci. We have to be humble and God will lift us up. Chantal et Chanel Kuka du Congo Brazzaville. Chanel Kuka du Brazzaville. J'avoue que votre question est la plus difficile de la journée, de la même façon que la question de Nita a été la meilleure. Your la vôtre est la plus compliquée. Your question is really complicated. Comment How? faire respecter les droits de l'homme? Or to have the human rights be respected. Ceci nous renvoie à l'œuvre de la refondation d'un état de droit. The reconstruction of the state of right, that's what we have to go back to. Nous devons avoir un état qui recouvre toutes ces attributions régaliennes. We have to have uh, a state that recover all these uh, uh, obligations. C'est-à-dire une armée républicaine, comme l'a dit madame. Uh, an army. Une police professionnelle a qui sécurise la population, mais pas pour piller. And not to steal. Une administration solide. A solid administration. Aujourd'hui, la Belgique vient de faire 250 jours sans gouvernement, mais le pays marche parce que l'administration est là. Today, uh, the Belgians have had uh, 250 days without a government. However, things are working because they have an administration. Une justice working. impartiale et distributive. An impartial justice and equal. Et nous disons aussi, à cela, il faut ajouter la diplomatie. Puisque quand vous allez dans nos ambassades, en ce qui concerne notre pays, about, uh, Congo, embassies, on a l'impression qu'il s'agit d'un petit pays. It seems like it's just a alors qu'il s'agit d'un géant, it's a giant, endormi, 
which is sleeping, comme un éléphant, just like an elephant. Et nous devons le relever. S'il marche, lift it up if he walks. Ça fait neuf pays voisins qui marchent avec lui. That will take nine neighbor countries that will be walking with him. Du Congo. That's the le Congo geostrategic position. Le Congo, tôt ou tard, c'est une puissance. Qu'on le veuille ou pas, je the suis Congo convaincu que le Congo, c'est une puissance. A world power. Il suffit de le vouloir et d'avoir les dirigeants qu'il faut. And have Ensemble, the right on peut transformer together, ce Congo. We et notre Congo, Congo prospère, Congo, stable et fort et possible. J'y crois fermement. Stable and strong, I believe. Okay. Strongly. Lula, Thank you. Oh, well, Lula est choqué. Lula est choqué. Lula est choqué. J'aime bien le nom de Lula. I love uh, Lula. Quand j'ai cherché Lula, je ne savais pas qu'il y en avait un dans la salle. I didn't know there was one Mais moi, je parlais de Lula, le président brésilien. I'm talking about Lula, the Brazilian president. Uh, il dit qu'il est choqué de la manière dont je suis entré dans l'opposition. He is surprised and shocked how I got into the opposition. Mon frère, l'opposition, ce n'est pas une maison qui a une porte, on vient entrer, non. Opposition, it's not a house that has a door and then you get in. Moi, j'ai des convictions à la fois chrétiennes, républicaines et démocrates. I have convictions, de Christian, Republican and Democrat. Et je voudrais dire ceci. And I want to say this. Et attaquer le gouvernement n'est qu'une facette de l'opposition. To attack the government, it's only just uh, uh, a face of the, the La vraie opposition, opposition est, est celle qui se complète par la proposition. Qu'est-ce que vous feriez à la place du the gouvernement? Et c'est ça mon document, plans. vous le lirez. Qu'est-ce que moi, puisque je critique le gouvernement, qu'est-ce que je propose? And that's what you're going to read here. It's as a criticism of the government, what do I propose? Okay. Mais, mais nous ne sommes pas la seule union. We are not the only union. Mais vous oubliez aussi, il y a you beaucoup d'unions. That there are a lot of unions. Union pour ceci, union pour cela. A union for this, union for that. Mais pourquoi vous ne voulez pas qu'il y ait union? Why don't you want there should be a union? Nous aimons l'union. <laughs> Soyons ensemble, nous serons forts. We love union. Let's fort. be together. Okay. Merci beaucoup. Okay, Thank merci. You. Okay, I, I don't know why anyone would want the job of president of DRC. I, I can't even moderate a, a, a session on it. Um, let's turn for some final uh, comments uh, from Mbemba, just brief yeah. comments, and we'll wrap up and um, say thank you. We are over time, and, um, <laughs> um, but it's been interesting and a rich discussion. Let me say, Mbemba, what, you want to say a couple of uh, yeah. comments and we'll wrap up. Yeah, I just want to say that uh, the road indeed, uh, the road ahead will be very difficult. Um, it will take a lot of seriousness. And by that, I don't mean that people are not working hard. People have been working hard in Congo, Chisekedi, others. Um, but I think th the time for commitment, this is the most critical elections, really. 2006 was kind of the prelude to getting on track to democracy. If we miss this, then we've missed the boat for a long time, meaning we cannot, uh, it's always funny that the name is the Democratic Republic of Congo, but we are so far away from democracy, and we continue moving off and off track from democracy. Um, I think another thing is also vision. When I was a child, um, the office of the president was something so big, so far away, so respected. Um, I, I remember going to, going to school and working by Mobutu's palace in Lubumbashi. So it was big. I walked by Chombe's house. It was big. I walked by Ch Munongo's house. Every day I went to college Jimara, back and forth. In those days, Catholic kids went to school twice. You went in the morning, you went home, you came back in the afternoon. So the idea of being a president, it was not given to everybody. I think that office has gone so down the drain. Nobody want to be members of parliament. Nobody want to be mayor. Nobody want, everybody want to be president. Um, <laughs> I think we need to take our sex seriously and review this, and maybe that to be a starter. I think the time for bottom-up leadership uh, is, is now. And if we don't get that, um, forget it. That's my comment, thanks. Thank you very much. And I, I think that's an excellent point to, to end on. I think, Mr. Kamari, your work as president of the National Assembly uh, shows that uh, when the, when there's a, a push there, that you can have a real real role. And I think our focus uh, here in the United States shouldn't solely be on the presidency and the uh, but also on the legislative elect elections as well, and 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 the broader institutional setting. Although our our, our focus tends to be on the presidency. 
I want to thank you very much for uh, the very rich discussion, um, taking, uh, fielding so many questions. I want to thank our audience. I know many of you came from far away. <laughs> I know there's still some outstanding questions. We cannot take them at this time uh, because we are over time. Again, this will be webcast, uh, will be posted tomorrow along with some documentation that Mr. Kamari has brought. And we will hope to have uh, future events. Um, if you haven't signed up, uh, please do so and so that you're on our email distribution list. Thank you again, and thank you, Mr. Kamari and Mvemba Dizolele. Thanks very much. Thank you.